shady Prince of Planet Blarb flees to Earth to escape the villainous fox who want to eat him alive. So they send an agent to capture him with the help of a mutant hound. Jamie meets Erwin Walsh, a young Earthling who will become his best friend, for better or worse. <laughs> Jamie's got tentacles, friendship, suspense, and tentacles. One, Jamie. How many legs does a spider have? Uh, wait. Ah, right, I know. It has a thousand, doesn't it? No, you're thinking of a millipede. Everybody knows a spider has, uh, eight. Everyone except your idiotic alien friend. He doesn't know anything about our planet. Not at all. Look. <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't do stuff like that. Even if it was fun seeing Freely's face. <laughs> now it's time for our game, Easy, Not So Easy. Answer a simple question or a complicated one drawn at random. And appear on TV for the grand finale. If only they call our house one day. But who am I kidding? Hello? Are you ready to be a star? Jimmy, pick up right now! I can hear someone else. Is that your family? No, it's Irwin. My family doesn't live on Earth. They're blards. <gasps> How interesting! <sighs> Let's draw a question right away. Ah, a science question. Which dwarf planet in hydrostatic equilibrium within the inner solar system is considered the most imposing? Easy, it's Ceres. Everyone knows that. Congratulations! <gasps> Congratulations! You've just been selected to take part in the grand finale broadcast live on TV! Uh, what is a blarp? There's no way you're going on TV! If the block agents see you, they'll catch you and serve you with tartar sauce! I taste better with ketchup. Hmm, but I guess you're probably right. It's a shame. Because with the prize money, I could get you that rare copy of Falfa Tracks you saw at the bookstore. Actually, you're right. It would be cool to go on TV. Really? I thought the vlogs... Oh, vlogs, schmlocks. Up there, I'm pretty sure they don't get all the channels anyway. You're listening to Radio Tentacle, your radio station from beyond the moon. Ugh, I'm so bored. How I wish that bumbling robot and that silly cow would find a way to bring Jamie for dinner. Just a reminder that easy, not so easy, We'll soon be welcoming a new finalist on TV. The lucky contestant is Jamie Blarb. At least I think that's his name. Lieutenant, the target is going to be on TV. Thank you, Sergeant, but I'm not deaf. We know somebody on TV. Better still, we'll take part in this game show, too, and capture Jamie. It will be easier for me to pass myself off as a contestant. No, why don't I get to play? I look much better on the screen, but you'll help me from backstage. You do know how to read, don't you? No, of course I know how to read. Uh, like this. <laughs> Concentrate, Jamie. It grows on your head and can be long or curly. You brush it every day. It's your... My tentacles? Your hair, Jamie! Your hair! Think, will you? Ah, yes. Wow, that one wasn't easy at all. You want some? No! <sighs> okay, let's try another one. We don't have much time. What do you use to loosen a screw? Hmm. <laughs> we know that, don't we, Mr. Pom Pom? Stop distracting my champion! Because you really think you can win? <laughs> Good luck! Listen to her, Jamie. I'm sure that that. I hate to admit she's right. You're unbeatable for the hard questions, but you're hopeless on the easy ones. It's a lost cause. A screwdriver? I'm right. No, you loosen screws with a screwdriver. How did you know that? You didn't read the answer on the box, did you? Hey, who do you think I am? 
No, I just read your sister's mind. What? You're not supposed to look inside people's head like that. Even if it would be a cinch to win, Jamie could read the answers in my thoughts. Great. That's what we'll do then. Ugh, stop looking inside my head. Listen, Jamie, I'd like to come along, but in the end, uh -huh. I think you better go to the show alone. Okay. Instead of winning by reading your thoughts, I'll look ridiculous in front of millions of TV viewers, and you'll never get your rare edition of Falfa Tracks. <laughs> Something since your last visit, Miss Neurons? Ah, uh, yes, I had a pub. Do you read me, Sergeant? Loud and clear, Lieutenant. <laughs> Red, a not so easy question. What is the maximum speed of a shooting star? Me, me, I know, I know. Wait a second, let me think. Sergeant, I'm counting on you. Ooh, it's written so tiny with these really big words. And all these zeros after a one, what number could that be? Miss Durant, your answer, please. Oh, uh, uh, well, a uh, uh, thousand miles an hour. Sorry, it's 100,000. Now it's your challenger's turn. Go on, Jamie, spin the wheel. Green. Easy! What is the main ingredient in an omelet? Uh... Wait a second, I know! Uh, I have it on the tip of my tentacle. It's... it's... An egg! It's an egg, JD! Erwin, you're here! Well, yeah, I would never let you down. Janie, your answer, please! An egg! That's correct! Boy, you certainly took your time answering that one! <laughs> A word from our sponsors. Like that, Lieutenant. I'll prove I can capture Jamie here and now. Now, for the last question on easy, not so easy. With this question, you could lose everything. So, Jamie, what will it be? Quantum astronomy or the fabulous world of mini ponies? Hmm. Phew. Astronomy is so easy for Jamie, I can finally give my gray cells a rest. Here, you think I don't know what you're up to? I'm going to choose... Take your mini pony and leave me alone! Mini ponies? What? An ambitious choice! Are you ready, Jamie? What is the name of the shampoo Chestnut Flower uses in episode 21 of season 6 of the Mini Pony series? Jamie, why did you do that? You're the one who thought of ponies. I saw that it was clearly on your mind. And your answer is, Jamie? <laughs> I'm begging you! In your dreams! Praline, I'm your big brother! Answer me this instant! Who's gonna lose? Who's gonna lose? If you don't help me, I'll... I'll tell Jamie to read your thoughts! What? I already tried that, Erwin. She doesn't know the answer. <laughs> but that's impossible! She knows all the episodes by heart! Get out of my head! <gasps> <gasps> I think we should stop giving them sodas. Jamie, I uh, need an answer. Uh, yes, yes, just a second. <clears throat> if Praline doesn't know the answer, that means there never was a season six. Ah, 
It's a trick question. There is no season six. And you win! High score. Yes, you're right. The mark. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't he incredible? Oh. Gotcha. Huh? You think you can get away with this, you evil cow? Hello, <laughs> Sergeant. I can't read you. What are you doing? Your wig <gasps> has slipped out of place. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Miss Neurons. <laughs> I've just been informed that was not the real Miss Neurons on our set. Incredible! We'll have to do the finale over. Are you ready to try again, Jamie? Oh, no, this is way too tiring. But I know someone who would really love to, honestly. <laughs> Mrs. Wall. <laughs> well, you didn't even want to come in the first place. And your mom has always loved this show, right? Yeah. Right, it's starting! Now, Miss Neurons will face off against her new challenger, Mrs. Walsh! <laughs> well, I think we could have won the finale and captured Jamie, but no! All because you didn't know how to tie up an old lady! It's not easy to make knots with hooves, Lieutenant. Because your head is full of knots, Sergeant!